This is a puzzle. My Jerusalem artichoke looked perfectly beautiful yesterday. Today, it's all, the thing is all kind of wrinkly. I know that isn't the right word. It's just. We had lots of wind yesterday. I've been looking forward to it blooming, but I hope it snaps out of it. We watered it. See, down at the bottom, there's one coming up that's perfectly fine. So I have no idea. My only suspect is the wind. My cord, while I'm out here, my cordon's doing nice. I need to come out and, and pick calendula flowers again. If I don't do it regularly, then they start going to seed, which I need some of them too, yeah. But if I don't pick some of them, they quit blooming and I'll go to seed. This borage plant is big. And Canadian thistle needs to be pulled out. So my tomatoes, I don't know. I think it's the hot weather. Fairly good looking plants. The leaves are kind of small this year for some reason or other. But the only that one plant that I'm aware of actually has any tomatoes on it. Several of them have had blooms, but like I said, it's been really hot. Well, since I'm out here, Can you all confirm for me that this is elderberry? That's what my picture this app says. The other thing I did yesterday was I came out and deadheaded my lilies. Good morning. Okay, had a nice chat with the neighbor. But I learned how to deadhead my lilies, and I don't think I have one right now that I can show you. So, in order to deadhead the lilies, what you do this little part right here all the all the flowers fall off and sometimes that falls off too and you just twist and it comes right off so you can see the ones that I did that had right there and that's all you have to do my stuff back here I don't know not everything in my tower survived but I didn't label them. Some of them were squashed and some of them were were um, cucumbers. So I'm hoping it was <laughs> cucumbers that survived it. Those finally are doing okay. And comfrey in the blue. I had another comfrey in the over in the garden part. And it didn't survive, I'm not sure why. I'm having, there's three things that I had issues with this year. Comfrey, and it looks like I'm finally gonna get some chamomile. 
and I finally have one little plant over in my regular garden and yarrow. I just can't get it to grow. Cosmo, along with the daisies and the lilies. So far, my bulbs that I planted from Brex, nothing has come up. So I don't know. I do not know whether what is what the deal is we'll give it more time we had quite a windstorm yesterday so my garden sign got blown down but this morning while this was still in the shade I got some weeding done I have a whole bunch of greens to throw on the compost pile. As you can see, I still have more weeding to do. <laughs> okay, I got more. These are garlics and onions. Over here, just onions. And over here, turnips. So, <clears throat> and those garlics smell good. So we won't have any vampires in our house this year for sure. Ha ha. Well, I've gotten quite a bit done this morning. Quite a lot of weeding, a little bit of harvesting. And I need to take stuff to the compost, but I think I'm just going to pull my little wagon that I stacked it all in, in onto a spot where it's not going to mess up the grass and wait because it's starting to get warm or maybe I'm just starting to get worn out one or the other. It's um, 10.30ish in the morning and in just a minute I will be able to see. We have one thermometer that's on a post on the porch and the sun directly hits it first thing in the day and it says 106. I know it's not that hot out in general. So in just a minute my other my other display will tell me what the accurate temperature is outside because it will be the temperature where our weather weather vane, whatever you call the thing. It's 80. Okay, it's 80 degrees outside. Right now there's no wind. Yesterday there was a good bit of wind. But anyway, 80 is warm enough for me to start staying indoors. So I'm gonna just kind of button things up out where I was working and bring myself back in the house. I've got plenty of things I can do in the house, but chances are I won't do them. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day. May the good Lord richly bless you. Until the next video. Bye.